Hey guys, um, what we're looking at now, again, I, I don't have the board space to give you the notes, so I'm going to give you the notes this way. Um, we, we, we said we needed to be able to get a turbine to move, to produce electricity. Now, the details of this <clears throat> um, will be discussed in the physics section in, in, in semester two. But long story short, we need to get a coil wire here to spin in some magnets that are really close by. And the magnets, uh, the magnets are here, and the magnets from the magnetic field produce an electric field so um, we can produce electricity okay it's a little more complicated than that but this is the the uh, the bare bones right now so you know people would heat up a power source to shoot steam out at this and make it move um, now there's also other ways to have this thing move um, now we can also look at uh, hydro okay hydro plant which uses uh, waterfall to uh, move turbines um, we can also use um, wind okay um, some of you guys went to the field trip this year uh, in Block Island they're putting up um, some wind turbines to create electricity and the interesting thing about that is that the the island of Block Island now um, it used to rely on diesel generators but now it relies on just one of, of the wind turbines to produce enough electricity for all the people on the island uh, which to me is pretty pretty awesome um, now this this wind power um, Obviously, these have advantages and disadvantages, and we're going to be talking about that and doing a little bit of a debate on that. But um, we got to get something to move to produce electricity. So we need to get a mechanical to electrical conversion. So we convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. And I'll be stopping this video um, periodically to talk about certain things. Um, that relate to these two um, items. Okay, thank you and have a good day.